Well, well, the fact is, sir, this is a building for the very weak standard. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that is. Otherwise, I would break my throat. Well, you need to repent and believe the gospel, sir. We care about you. We desire that you would love your neighbor as yourself. Do not dehumanize women. I'm about to fuck you in the ass. It's not like. You're what? Well, the Bible says that the bloodthirsty hate the upright, so yeah, I'm not surprised. But we're seeking your soul, sir. We don't, we don't want you to die and go to hell, sir. The Bible says that the, uh, the bloodthirsty hate the upright. Why don't you touch me? Where are you touching me? Come over here and touch me. Touch me once. No, I'm not going to. Touch me once. I'm telling you, you need to turn to Jesus Christ. Touch me once. You need to love your neighbor as yourself. Fuck you and fuck Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ can save you, sir. Guess what? The Bible says, do not blaspheme. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Fuck you, fuck God. You need to repent, sir. Lord Jesus Christ can save you, sir. God is not mocked, sir. Be not deceived. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap, sir. You need to turn to Jesus Christ. He is the only way that you can be saved from your sin, sir. We care for your soul. We care for you. Repent and believe the gospel. For those inside this place of death, we, we invite you to come out and talk to us. We don't want you to die and go to hell. Man, please. Man, please leave this. Man, this place dehumanizes women. Don't let people treat you like a sex object. You are made in the image of God. Love thy neighbor as thyself, man. Don't be exciting people to adultery of the heart. So I encourage you not to have anything to do with this place of perversion. A place that is leading people to hell. <coughs> Please come out of this place of death, this place of hell. Satan wants, the devil wants you here to destroy your life to commit adultery against your spouse, against your wife. For all, for all the guys in there, you know that this is wrong. You know this is evil. For the women in here, you know this is evil. You have the law of God written on your heart, the Ten Commandments, your conscience, that says that this is wicked in the eyes of God. We don't want you to die and go to hell. We don't want you to waste, to waste your precious life in this place of debauchery, in this place of wickedness, of sin. God did not make did not make you in His own image to spend your life doing this. Please come out and talk with us. We'll share the we want to we want to share truth with you. We don't want you to, to waste your life in this place of sin of wickedness. You're not living for the purpose that God made you. Better move. They can get wet. You do know that this is a form of free speech, sir? Yep, that's fine. And that the, the U.S. I'm Supreme free. Court says that you can not yeah. destroy that? And I encourage you not to have anything to do with this, this business. I'm from me. I'm really fucking black. Uh, actually, that wouldn't bother me at all, sir. It's just a cloth. That wouldn't surprise me at all either. But you need to repent. You need to turn. The Lord can take away that anger repent out of your, your mouth. Sin. That, the Lord. You need to turn away, sir. Turn away the from Lord your The Lord can violence. take the anger out of your heart. Sir, you need to turn like I'm away from your sin. You think I'm joking? I don't think you're joking. The cops won't be here in time to help you. But you need to repent. You will be found out. The Lord can take the anger out of your heart. will find you out. You need to turn away. The Bible says the soul that sinned, it shall die. And I care for you, sir. It doesn't matter what you would do to me. The fact is, the fact is, God says, Why are you so angry, sir? God says, Why are you so angry, sir? Why are you so angry, sir? Because he hath appointed a day in which he will judge See, the world in righteousness by He's that man whom he hath ordained. Well, you don't want to. You, 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 you don't want to raise your. You don't want to raise your. You don't want to raise your. You don't want to raise children using money at this place. You don't like girls. That's the deal. You don't like pussy. Not at all. It's a sexual perversion. They don't like pussy. That's the problem. We actually honor. There are two fags that don't like pussy. And you're falsely accused. Go down and go suck cocks. Which is no surprise because you're bearing false witness. No, you can't suck my dick. I'm not going to do that for money. You need to repent, sir. You need to turn away from that. Vulgar. We're not going to go away. We're repent, loving, I'll tell you the repent truth. to believe the gospel. Turn away, sir. The scripture hath included all under sin. The Bible says that under their mouth is cursing and deceit. That is what. That is what See, God says of you. And here you're showing that it's true. The scripture says that out of the heart, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. What's wrong with your mouth, sir? You're showing what's in your heart. Evil, vile, fornications, your murderous intent. You need to repent, sir. You need to turn away from this violence. You need to repent. 
Someday everybody in this place of sexual you sin will stand before God. You don't have to go into a place you shouldn't do it. A place that dehumanizes women, man. Ma'am, you don't need to do this. To get... I encourage all the women in here to turn away from this place of death, from this place of wickedness. This, this, this business dehumanizes women, treats them like sex objects for the sinful, wicked pleasures of men. God made sex between one man, one man and one woman in the context of marriage, not to be enjoyed outside of marriage. That's what this place encourages. Repent and believe in the gospel. This, this place. We declare the truth. We care for you. We desire that you would turn to Jesus Christ, that you would be saved from your sins, that you would be delivered, <laughs> delivered from. from Ma'am, I encourage you to come out of this, pl this place of wickedness. That is actually, that is actually objectifying yourselves. The Scripture tells us that there would come people who are who are lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Um, Love ladies, you. please come out of this place. Like do not, do not, do not do this. You need to turn to your to away from lying, sir. You're a liar, and liar shall have the part of the lake of fire. You need to turn away, sir. Repent and believe the gospel. Yes. You need to turn away and love your neighbor. Ass, yeah. some, so you need to turn away God. from your rebellion your against God. Oh God so in, stop. So stop. that is assault. Well, I'll show you what assault is. I know. I've been assaulted out here and the police came. Yes. You guys are coming. No, actually, you need to repent, um, sir. I care for your soul. Sunday, you all stand before I God. We don't want you to die and go to hell. We don't, we don't want you to die and go to hell, ladies. Actually, that is not true, ma'am. You're falsely accusing, ma'am. You need to turn and love your neighbor as yourself. Turn away. Please turn away from the sexual perversion. Ma'am, we do care. We care for every woman who's not to be here, ma'am. Please turn away from the sexual perversion. We need to be valued and respected as those who are made in the image of God. Women are not sex objects. And babies are not body parts. We are living in a holocaust of murdering little children. The Lord can take away the anger out of your heart. And that's the of mankind in our, in our society. Two babies are being murdered every minute of every day in our nation. Little children who should be protected. He's come out of this, this wicked place, this place of hell. You don't have to be mad. I told you I'll hire your sister. You don't have to be upset. I'll give that bitch a job. The Lord Jesus Christ can save you. He can forgive you. God, God can save you. The Lord Jesus Christ has mercy available to you, sir. If you'll turn away from your sins and trust in Him. We want any of you to die and go to hell. So many people are dying every day and going to hell. We don't want that for any of you. Well, I know 15 girls. I'll never fuck any one of you two, motherfucker. Sir, one day you'll give an account to God for your life. One day. You can look up abolishhumanabortion.com when you get home. Abolishhumanabortion.com. We're living in a holocaust. That's murdering little children. Over 3,000, over 3,000 babies every day. To every minute of every day. But this is a holocaust. We have murdered more than 10 times as many as Hitler slew. I bet she loves that. You need a turn. Man, this is ageism. This is ageism, man, that is resulting in murder to the nth degree that is a heinous crime to murder your neighbors. Abortion is not health care. It is homicide in the worst degree. It is the holocaust of our day. It is a human sacrifice to the God of self. And we care for these little children. We care for you. We're actually standing here at this business desire to support those who are here to turn away from this sin and actually become free. You know why? Why don't you jump Freedom on the for me? comes from Jesus Christ. We're in America. We're free as fuck. Ma'am, actually, if you realize that Jesus said, if you sin, you are the servant of sin. You are the slave of sin. You need to turn away. Turn away from this rebellion. Those who say, oh, I, I'm free. 
they themselves are